Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Matt, and I'm joined uh, by my colleagues, Michael and Pavlo. Uh, we're from the Airship Development Team, and we're here to tell you a little bit about uh, Airship's uh, future plans for bare metal provisioning within the Airship platform. So Airship, for a long time, has wanted to adopt Ironic as its bare metal provisioning component. And uh, our plans for how we want to integrate Ironic have shifted recently. Uh, first, a quick overview of what Airship is for anyone who doesn't know. Airship is a platform that takes YAML documents and turns them into clouds, essentially. Uh, these YAML documents represent things like uh, overrides for Helm charts and network policies and uh, security and things like that. And they also represent uh, definitions, uh, declarative definitions of our bare metal servers. And the way that uh, Airship takes YAML files that uh, define bare metal servers and then turns them into actual bare metal servers that are running is uh, up on the screen here. Uh, the Shipyard a uh, API, which is the front door into Airship, uh, talks to DryDock, our uh, declarative bare metal provisioning component. DryDock then talks to Maz and then uh, tells Maz how to drive provisioning of the bare metal uh, servers in the cluster. Now, our first approach that we had in mind for introducing Ironic into Airship was simply to replace Maz with Ironic on this picture, which would mean creating a new dry dock uh, plugin for uh, Ironic and then moving on from there, BAU. Uh, however, some really interesting things have happened in the meantime. Uh, in particular, the Kubernetes cluster API has uh, been coming up in terms of uh, maturity and uh, sort of future plans. And what the Cluster API is, is uh, from their website here, uh, they plan to bring a declarative Kubernetes-style API to the creation of uh, bare metal Kubernetes clusters, or actually, excuse me, any Kubernetes cluster, uh, agnostic to whether it's bare metal. Uh, and then they also uh, plan to, uh, they do that so that higher level uh, user-friendly, operator-friendly uh, layers can be uh, laid on top of that to make the user experience very friendly for bare metal provisioning. So this is great because uh, declarative definition of Kubernetes clusters is a big part of what Airship is and what it tries to do, as well as being a higher level cloud agnostic tool. Well, that's something that Airship aspires to be. Today, we do uh, bare metal uh, provisioning period, but if we were to integrate with the cluster API, uh, not only would that open up the ability to interact with Ironic to drive our bare metal provisioning, but it would also open the door to being able to host Airship workloads in public clouds, which is really interesting, and to an extent you get that for free with the cluster API. However, this is sort of a longer term shift, a longer term plan for how Airship uh, can approach the problem of bringing Ironic in. Uh, it's not quite as, as uh, quick to getting it in as we had hoped originally, but it's really the right thing to do uh, to you know, align to the rest of the community and uh, not to build our own uh, infrastructure when we could work with others. Thanks, Matt. So Airship is going to be moving towards Metal Cube. Well, what is Metal Cube? You, you might have seen it a little bit at the keynote this morning. Uh, with Chris's demo that he did, but basically it's bare metal host management for Kubernetes. It, it has the, the bare metal actuator that is based, implemented from the cluster API. This is going to keep an eye on their new bare metal host custom resource, which is going to keep an inventory of all of the bare metal hosts and nodes that you want to create. The bare metal operator is what's going to do a lot of the actual work uh, provisioning to uh, try to keep all of the bare metal host, uh, everything you defined in the bare metal host custom resource and try to make that reality, try to make that the actual state of the bare metal. And their initial implementation will be using Ironic, which is great for us because we're super interested in Ironic uh, and we're super interested. It's a new project that's uh, open to collaboration. So why? Why Metal Cube? Why do we care? Uh, the, the big idea, like Matt said, is we want, we've been wanting to use Ironic for a while. And Metal Cube kind of knocks out two birds with one stone by how, allowing us to use Ironic while also using the cluster API, two of these things that we really think are uh, the future for how we want to do this. 
so our plan, uh, we've already begun contributing to Metal Cubed, and we, begin to, we, we plan to ramp that up going forward. Uh, it, it's likely going to require enhancements to work properly with Airship, and we're, we're prepared to start working towards those. We're, not, we, we're still working through the rest of the design, but Metal Cubed is going to be a solid part of that plan. And so the thing is that um, Metal Cube doesn't really care how Ironic was deployed. All it cares is the working Ironic API to talk to. And uh, we decided that we will move with Ironic deployed with what's already available in the community to deploy Ironic in Kubernetes with OpenStack Helm, which is currently looks somewhat like this. You have Ironic APIs as a deployment in Kubernetes. You have Ironic conductors as a stateful stat in Kubernetes and some intra pieces inside. This, was, this is already working, kind of work, already working, but it lacked, it was too tightly coupled into OpenStack already. Ironic can work in standalone mode, and OpenStack Helm was lacking this possibility to deploy this stuff, all a lot of dependencies on all the other OpenStack services. So what uh, me and my colleagues have done with in OpenStack Helm, we removed some dependencies on Glance, Neutron, and Swift from inside uh, Ironic Helm charts. We made them optional. And we also added, because there is no Neutron, there is still something has to manage DHCP for Ironic nodes. So we added an extra uh, Helm chart to deploy a standalone DNS mask that can be configured there, the Helm chart, statically with IP addresses and MAC, address, MAC addresses of the bare metal nodes that you will be having. This is in line with the model of uh, Airship uses, where you still, where you already have the nodes declared in your YAML file. And the uh, problem with that is that it's still non-HA, because the DNS mask is one thing, it's static, you can't, you can't really scale up conductors. We plan to tackle this by, we've already talked about this today, uh, today on the standalone Ironic session, that maybe we will add some another DHCP provider to Ironic, that instead of DNS mask, something that is capable of remote configuration, like AIC Kia, for example, and uh, my personal plan, this is my pet child, uh, this dynamic IPXI configuration feature in Ironic, which will has a potential of making Ironic conductors pods in uh, Kubernetes basically stateless. So there will be basically no need to keep the images or any other state inside or pre-configured Pixie environments, IPXI environments to keep those inside the container so that the they can really be up and run, up and go. Uh, I mean, up and down, as everything is in Kubernetes. That's basically the plan for how to make Ironic better usable in Kubernetes. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Okay. Uh, before we do uh, questions, I just wanted to point out uh, on a previous slide here, um, I stepped straight to, uh, skipped to straight to step two uh, uh, for bare metal provisioning. If you'd like to know what steps one and three are, uh, please come to our developer onboarding session tomorrow for Airship. We'd love to tell you all about them. So we have a little bit of time for questions, about a minute and 20 seconds. Yes, sir. Yes, they will be using, at least with Airship, Airship Undercloud still has Keystone, and that Ironic will be tied to that Keystone, not to, so they will, uh, there are again talks about that in, uh, uh, in Ironic community, how to manage a single pool of machines where you, these nodes are managed by, the, here I will put my Nova computes, for example, but this I will put for users to be used, but this will be managed by single Ironic. This is still in works in community, so with all node ownership and these kind of things. But yes, in Airship, uh, for starters, they will be two different Ironics, let's say, under cloud in UCP, and if you chose to deploy it in over cloud, then in that OpenStack. And Air Airship already has a, a sort of a cluster bootstrapping strategy that it uses today, and we're looking to see how to adapt that for sort of a cluster API-driven model. All right, I think we're out of time, but we'll be over here if you want to ask any other questions. Yep. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody.